What is going on guys, it's Raul TV, Team R for you, L, your favourite YouTube mechanic, we're back again and what I'm doing this time round is, I've got the easiest job in history, okay, the easy, easiest job ever, okay, we've got a Mazda 2, or it's the same on a Fiesta, Ford Fiesta, 2007-8 kind of thing, this one is a 60 plate Mazda 2, and we're going to go ahead and replace the rear coil spring, dead, dead easy, if you can't do this job, get out of the trade, okay, right, that's all I'm going to say, right, if you can't do this job, you can do it on the floor, just jack it up nice and easy. Or if it's on the ramp, it's even easier. Let's go, let's do it. I'll be straight up honest with you. If it's this easy, right, it's that easy, I should make a YouTube short out of it instead of making a YouTube video, okay? Right, you don't even need to take the wheel off. You don't need to take the wheel off or anything like that. Right, just send the car up on the ramp if you're doing it on the ramp. If you're doing it on the floor, just jack the car up, okay? And all you do is we just have to, we're replacing this coil spring, right? And you need to... Uh, basically get some clamps on there and basically uh, clamp it down and I'm only messing guys like I said easiest job in the world it's you don't have to do any of that you just have to take this bolt off make sure it's secure basically held up with something a jack or something take that bolt off and that's it replace the coil spring let's do it I'll show you guys how easy it is right so all you do guys is um, get a spanner 17 spanner or a ratchet socket ratchet extension or if you've got a gun impact gun get the gun on there Right, okay, now that we've taken it off, the bolt is still there. Pull that bolt out. Make sure the shocker is like freestyling a little bit, moving a bit. There we go. Now all we do is, if we go down this way, if you're doing it with a trolley jack, make sure you release the trolley jack nice and easy. So we'll release this one nice and easy. Absolutely fantastic, no messing about whatsoever. Move that out of the way. And all you do now is, if you've got a helper, makes your life a little bit, a little bit more easier. If you haven't, you just use your muscle strength. Spring comes out. One coil spring off. Let's get the new one on. Right, there we have it, the new coil spring. You don't need to clamp it or anything. You just get it in there. I normally get the bottom piece in first. Or if you want, you can go actually go for the top piece in first. Get it on the top there. And then all you do is, Sorry about the noise in the background. Every time I do a video, it's like something has to happen, right? And all you do now is it's either get a friend or somebody just to bar this down, or if you're feeling strong enough, like I am today, I'm feeling strong enough today, all you do is just pull this down. I'm feeling a little bit strong. There we go. I made that harder than it was, okay, because I couldn't get the angle because the cameraman is standing in my way as well, right, okay, so uh, so uh, normally I would do it from this angle and pull the wheel down right, and get the spring on, but obviously he was standing there, so you, for you guys, I struggled a little bit, okay, so all you do now is get the jack back underneath it. line that up make sure it's lined up that looks perfect if you want you put some copper grease or whatever grease on that I'm not bothering but if you can you know, if you want to you can do if you want put that on there And job done. Okay guys, so that's it. All done and dusted. Took me literally, if I wasn't talking to you guys and filming, it would have took what? About two minutes? Two minutes or maybe five minutes tops, okay? Um, the video I don't think is even five minutes long, okay? So it, it, there you go, that's how long it takes. Uh, make sure you double check it with a strong arm, the, uh, the bolt. I know I gunned it on, then I did get the strong arm, the breaker bar on it and tightened it up. And that's it, you're good to go, coil spring replacement, done, for uh, Ford Fiesta, or you can say uh, Mazda 2, same thing, exactly same thing. Anyway, I hope this video helps you guys out, if it didn't help you guys out, I'm sorry, trying my best, but I think it did help you guys out, this one will help you guys out, because I know it will. Uh, anyway, please like, share and subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button for me, leave a comment in the comment section, Raul TV, Team R for UL, we'll see you guys next time.